Hey yo, what's good YouTube? We are back with another reactions. Reactions are back. You feel me? With Z Mad. Z Mad is back with reactions. Hey, we're gonna get straight into the video. We got Halloween tomorrow, so it's only it's only right we do some scary stuff. If y'all going trick or treat, be safe. Watch y'all back. You don't know you don't know Michael Myers right behind y'all. Y'all better run. I can't remember much of my early memories as a kid, but there's one thing I could never forget is that I really liked clowns. One particular memory that stands out was at my seventh birthday party. There was this boy called Theodore who I knew since kindergarten. He always had this huge crush on me, although I never reciprocated the feeling. Apparently, he finally worked up the courage and told me he liked me during the party. And I remember not caring as I just left him there and Dang, I ran to find the clown because at the time, it was the only thing I cared about. I remember him staring at me with tears in his eyes, but I was still so fascinated by the clown to care about his feelings. As I grew older, I guess the love for clowns began to fade. And when I was 12, I began taking down all my clown posters from my room. I remember my mom asking me, Tracy, why are you taking out all your clown themed things? You love clowns. And I remember telling her, well, mom, I guess clowns aren't cool anymore. Fast forward to six years later. I was 18 at the moment. I remember it was on a Tuesday. I had gotten some intel that there was going to be a small gathering at Dylan's house. The party went on pretty long, so I left really late. I remember standing outside in the cold, dark night. There were no cars or taxis coming around. I began to feel really scared as I stood there waiting for at least one taxi to show up. So I began so texting just, my friend Molly, and just, I told her... You just gonna stand outside by yourself at night. Like I was scared, and I remember her telling me, Don't worry, you'll probably see a taxi soon, and if anything happens, you can bet I'll find you. Now, I know this may be a weird me, statement, but what? Molly wasn't lying. I don't know how, but she always knew where I was, be it at a party or at school. I really didn't know how she did it, and every time I asked, she told me, I'm never telling. I didn't think she, much of it, as I just you. assumed she knew me too well since she was my best friend, no. and that's how she always knew where no, I was. She's watching you. I stood there for 10 minutes she talking to Molly before right I started here. looking for a cab again, but the road was still empty. As I was about to give up, that's when I noticed something. A yellow car that looked a lot like a taxi was parked just down the road. It wasn't moving, so I assumed no one was inside. Don't go to I waved at it, and immediately no. the headlights came on, and no. the car began to move. And it stopped. No. Right. No. Don't go to the car. Don't do it. Where I was standing. It was dark inside the cab, so I couldn't see the driver's face. But I told him where I was going, and I asked him, can you take me there? He didn't reply to me, as he just <laughs> nodded his head yes, without saying a word. I got in and heaved a sigh of relief, as I was finally going home. We were driving for a long time, so I started chatting with Molly. After a while, I decided yeah, to stretch a little, Molly. and I finally call took my Molly, eyes off my bro. phone. And even then, I still couldn't see the driver's face. It wasn't till we passed another streetlight when I finally noticed oh, the bright red no. ball on his face. Oh, I no, that's a clown. You better get... That's that dude. I remember thinking to myself, was that a clown nose? We passed another, and I finally got a really good look at him. And that's when I what realized my taxi driver was do? a clown. The feeling of fear immediately set in as I began to frantically look around. I guess there, he noticed me freaking out and he said, Don't be alarmed, Tracy. We're almost there. As he swerved into a forest, the only thing on my mind was, how does he know my name? We didn't drive for much longer after that as he stopped at a small cabin he that was just cabin. right in front he of the forest. He got out and he ushered me to get out. He I hesitated. He then sternly held my hand and pulled me out of the car. He led me to the cabin and ushered me in. It was dark inside, and I could hear him looking for Man, the light. Molly at? As where the Molly light at? finally came on, I didn't know whether where to Molly scream at? or to run, as what I saw transfixed me. It where was Molly what at? seemed to be a shrine decorated with numerous pictures and dolls of me. No. There were pictures from my childhood, no. pictures from me in high school. There were also little wooden dolls with face carvings that resembled mine. No. And I also saw numerous things that went missing through my childhood. I saw my pink bicycle that was stolen, some old diaries I couldn't find, my hairbrushes 
and even some of my clothes and underwear. This dude nasty. As I looked around this, more, this dude nasty. Why? I also saw all the clown themed posters I used to design my room. The same ones I threw out when I was 12. They were plastered now all over the wall. I can't put into words how I was feeling at that moment, as all my life, I literally thought I was just a clumsy person who always lost her things. And as he I slowly began to have a it. breakdown, he finally spoke. You like it, don't you? I remember being too scared to speak. He then continued. I spent most of my life trying to make this perfect for you. I bleached out my skin to make myself more paler for you. No! I dyed my hair red, and I constantly wear the clown makeup. What do you think, my sweet Tracy? He said as he came closer and presented himself with this a big dude smile. Is crazy. He looked horrible like he was terribly sick. His skin was rough and haggard, which I assumed was due to all the clown makeup that was caked on his face. <laughs> his eyes were bloodshot red, as if the chemicals that the makeup was composed of was stinging his eyes. He looked like he was in terrible pain, but he was smiling. I didn't know what to say as I just said, please, can I go home? He looked extremely hurt as he asked, but why? Why don't I see no. the spark in your eyes? Don't you like this? I this did it for you. Crazy. I was confused and I was this getting really frustrated crazy. and pissed as I didn't know what he was saying and he was getting pretty close to me. So instinctively, I shouted, get away from me, you sick freak. And that's when I knew I fucked up. You did. He hit You did messed up. Man, you done messed up. It was hard across Ooh. the face. And I could taste the blood in my mouth. I saw the way you looked at that clown. Oh, I saw the spark in your eyes man, while you I man. cried that day. And I knew this was what you loved. So I became a clown, Tracy. I became this for you. That's when my mind started putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Theodore? I said. You finally remember. Yes, it's me, Tracy. I've come for your heart once more. And this time, I've come prepared as I have become what you love most. Man, I felt my heart beating in my no chest way. as I knew ain't what no I said way. next will determine whether I get out of here alive. I you then took a the deep right, breath and said, right Look, Theodore, we can talk about this more calmly. Just my let me go bloody. and then we can talk about being friends. The look on his face told me I had said the wrong thing as he smacked me again. Yeah, I want to be friends. I didn't wait for you all my life just so we could become friends. You like clowns? You got a clown. He shouted at me before he proceeded to tear my blouse. I kept on fighting, but my mind told me it was futile. Because even if he looked, sick, he was really strong and it was only a matter of time before he'll overpower me. I suddenly let up and he began to rip my clothes. I then began to think of my family my mom in particular. My mind drifted off to my friends and I began to remember Molly. I thought to how she always yeah. knew where I was. And I said to myself, yeah. too bad she couldn't find me today. And as Theodore was about to have his way with me, the door bust open and cops grabbed him off me and held him down. They began to surround me and the following hours seemed like a blur. They took me to the car. They drove me to the station and right there at the police station, the first person I saw waiting for me was Molly. Molly. I immediately... Molly. Thank you, Molly. Thank you, Molly. Dang, you came through. So you came through. I rushed to hug her with tears in my eyes. Two cops then entered into the room. They sat me down and asked me questions. I told them everything. Once they finished their questions, the cops told me, you're really lucky that your friend here phoned in and told us where you were. After that, they left. Molly then told me, as soon as I saw you stopped replying, I knew something was wrong. So I called your mom to find out if you were home and she said no. So I looked up your location and once I saw it, I immediately called the police. I remember asking Molly, seriously, you've got to tell me how you knew where I was. She got your location. And then she finally did. She said, remember when we were 14, we went camping with my dad? And that night we were really scared as we had watched a scary movie, so we thought someone will jump out of the woods and grab us. You can't remember, but we both installed the Find My Friends app on our phones that night, just in case anything happened. 
<laughs> well, you totally forgot about it, and I didn't. And as the years went by, that man, I, she ain't forget you. She ain't do it. She ain't forget about it. You did it on her phone. That's how I always knew where you were. I actually only used it to find out where the coolest parties and hangouts were, as you were always at those places. Never in a million years did I think I'd use it to save your life. Man, Molly is watching you, bro. Hey, keep an eye out on your friends, bro. They watch you. I don't know what they is, but she, she was watching her. She was watching her. You better keep an eye on your friends, man. Oh, man.